So 2019 is all about foldables. We have one from Samsung with the Fold and the Mate X from Huawei. Now let's take a look at both. The big boys Samsung and Huawei came out swinging. Samsung started off at Unpacked with the Galaxy Fold. They give us a price, $1,980. Yes, I know it's high there, but it packs in a lot of stuff. And they give us a date at April 26. So it's coming out and it's going to be available really soon. But what do we have with the Galaxy Fold and what makes it different from the Mate X from Huawei? Well, the Galaxy Fold, of course, is a device that has a cover display at 4.6 inches. Uh, doesn't take off the whole real estate in the front, but it opens up to give you a 7.3 inch a dynamic AMOLED display. Resolution is 1536 by, by 2152. Interesting aspect ratio there. Um, it's also got a bunch of cameras on this device. The cover display has a 10 megapixel camera. The internal 7.3 inch display has uh, a, a triple camera, a double camera setup. And then there's a triple camera setup at the back of this device. When you look at it, it looks like two Galaxy S10s sandwiched together from the rear because you can get different color options and you've, it's got a hinge badge. But just to give you an idea, that cutout there of the internal uh, display with the cameras also acts as a stopping lip so that when the display is closed, they don't touch each other and you'll have display damage. So that's what that design element is for. That being said though, it packs in the Snapdragon 855 processor, which is a beast that we've seen in the Galaxy S10. It comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM, a whole lot of RAM in that system. You've got 512 uh, gigs of storage. I believe there's a one terabyte option. Uh, there is, um, and then you also have USB type C, uh, of course, for charging, data transfer, and audio because there is no headphone jack on this device. Now, Samsung did showcase some of the software prowess on this. They showed the app switching, if you will, uh, using an app uh, like Google Maps on the cover display, and then opening and transitioning seamlessly to the 7.3 inch display to give you, of course, a full map layout. They also showed the uh, three app multitask map, multitasking, which we haven't seen in the Android device or tablet at all. So giving you uh, the ability to multitask, uh, by watching a movie, doing a voice chat, and also searching the web with three applications at the same time. Now, this packs a 4,380 milliamp battery, um, and of course, uh, does have fast charging, um, and it, it's a device that we'll have to wait and see when we get our hands on it, but it packs in a lot of features, and I think it's gonna be interesting to see how that cover display to, um, of course, full display, fully works. And then there's the Huawei Mate X, and they've gone for a totally different design here. This doesn't open up like a book, it folds out. And it's got a unique hinge design that makes it different. So Huawei has a couple of claims on this device. First off, it's got a larger full display at eight inches compared to 7.3 uh, with the Galaxy Fold. Now the Mate X, each, each display or each Single display when folded is 6.38 inches and 6.6 .6 inches, giving you, of course, combined eight inches in the full view display. When folded, it looks like a smartphone with really thin bezels all around and basically no bezel on one side. Uh, when you look at the back of the device, you can see the design, it's all black at the back. The hinge also is really linear and almost like a double hinge bolt. You've also got your camera layout on that uh, unique Falcon hinge, which has the triple camera layout, of course, working with Leica on that, as you would expect from them. Uh, also has the power button on there, which acts as a fingerprint sensor, similar to what you have on the Galaxy Fold. Now, this has a USB um, USB Type-C port for power and charging, which does, which has a 4,500 milliamp battery. It has, it supports Huawei's 55 watt charger. So you should get 30 minutes of charge uh, will give you 85%. That is nuts. So they are coming in full force. Now, of course, this is powered by the Kirin 980 processor, 
and it also has the brand new Balong uh, uh, 5G chipset. So it's a 5G ready device. They dubbed this the world's first foldable 5G device. So it will be ready for 5G connectivity when you get your hands on this device. Now, I don't have pricing yet, but I will leave that in the description because I'm doing this video before the announcements. And of course you're watching it at the announcement time, but this is crazy. It is really in depth in looking at how the two designs differ. And we'll see more designs from different manufacturers. We've got the Galaxy Fold that opens up like a book and has technically uh, gives us three displays, you know, or two displays if you want, massive display and a small display. And then we have, of course, the um, Huawei Mate X, which opens up in a reverse fashion uh, using, of course, the Falcon hinge. And it has two displays and gives us a larger display at eight, eight inches. What do you think about each one? Which are you more excited about? Which design do you like? I have to say though, the Huawei looks really, really cool. And I do like that hinge grip, but I also like the fact that I can close up my um, Galaxy uh, Fold and uh, I can put it in my pocket. I just wish that front display was larger. So there you have it guys. That is the battle between the Galaxy Fold and the Huawei Mate X. Which do you like? Which do you think will be successful? And what kind of improvements would you want to see from both of them? If you have any questions, any comments, let me know, guys. I will try and answer them for you. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment. Bam! Foldables. It's going to be an interesting year.